फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय हॉस्पिटल एट राणाघाट इंडिया दिस इज फिकल श्रीकृष्ण वे कैट्रैक्ट विथ ग्रेड थ्री न्यूक्लियर स्क्लेरोसिस दिस इज द मेन इंसिशन सी दैट आई एम जस्ट सपोर्टिंग द आई वॉल विद अ कॉटन टिप्ड जनसन वार्ट दिस इज द मेन इंसिशन इट्स अ थ्री प्लेन इंसिशन दैट्स इट द मेन इंसिशन इज मेड है ना Visco elastic substances injected into the anterior chamber. I am at the head end of the patient, and the incision is at around eleven o'clock. And now, in this case, I am going to make only one side port. Yes, only one side port, about two o'clock hours away from the main incision. That's it. The side port is made. Now, capsular axis. I incise the capsule with a 26 gauge band needle and raise a nice, very easy to hold capsular tag. Take a little forceps, hold this capsular tag, go clockwise all around, remaining at a certain equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil, and thus I manage to get an optimum sized. Round axis. The margin of the pupil is the guide. Now hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. Hydro delineation was attempted, but in this case, golden ring didn't form. The nucleus is mobilized. Viscoelastic substance is again injected. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FICO handpiece. This is a totally unedited surgery, and you are going to watch each and every single step of this surgery. The tip goes bevel down. Some superficial cortical matter is removed, and now the handpiece is turned, and the bevel is towards the corneal endothelium now. And now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is healed firmly, and it is chopped. It is chopped at another place. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and engulfed. So in this case, the nucleus is being chopped and engulfed. and now this is the epineucleus yes this is the epineucleus and during this time um, i have removed this side port so that leakage from this side port stops and the chamber becomes more stable Followability of the pieces increase, and that's it. The epineucleus is managed. Since there is only one side port, you can use a coaxial IA or a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco, and see how beautifully you can remove the cortex with this Simco. Here it is. Go underneath the anterior capsular rim, hold a portion of the cortex, and pull it towards the center and aspirate. You can create as much vacuum as required with your left hand. Now go through the side port and remove. the cortex if you hold the posterior capsule you can just flush out whatever you have aspirated and it releases the posterior capsule that's it and now this is hydro polish polishing the posterior capsule with the help of fluid jet
In this case, a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens has been selected in my area. Most of the patients are upper middle class and they can afford hydrophilic lenses but it is difficult for them to afford hydrophobic intraocular lenses. And here is the intraocular lens that has been implanted under irrigation. That's it. The lens has been nicely placed in the bag. I can, I can see that the uh, rim, anterior capsular rim is overlapping the optic and this ensures nice centration of the intraocular lens. The side port is hydrated and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The patient is under topical anesthesia. The patient moves his or her eyes a lot, but you can manage. Once you get used to this, you can just instruct the patient to look at the microscope light and get cooperation of your patients. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed. The wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be better and do better.